life is a mess and you're totally stressed out just call trent just call trent when your wife is cold as ice and you need some advice just call trent just call trent he'll shoot it straight and he won't say no He'll just give you that advice and say, well, there you go. Okay. Ah, uh, like <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> no, I just, I had a pop up, but I have to oh. accept. It says I have to like accept the oh, fact yeah, that they, this is being recorded. All right, I can. Yeah, they added that. They added that. Yeah, recently. yeah. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, uh, hello, welcome uh, to another episode of There You Go with Trent Mabry, of course. I'm your host, Trent Mabry. Today, my guest is Joe Nunnick. Hello. Hey. How are you? How are Doing you, good. Joe? This is called There You Go. Is that what it's called? Called There You Go with Trent Mabry. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks for having me, Trent. Glad to be here. Oh, no. Thank you for doing it. Oh, well, well thank you for asking me to, to do it. What if we just did this for 30 minutes and you found another reason to thank me for being here and then we just go back and forth? Well, I think I'd be down to 29 listeners. <laughs> you at least dropped seven. Yeah. No, but Hell seriously, yeah. thank you. Thank you for doing this. Absolutely. It man. means a lot. <laughs> that doesn't mean a lot. Yeah. All, right. All right. You must be Are really you? running low on guests, but uh, yeah, it's great to be here. Well, that's why in my, in my bedroom. It's great to be here in my bedroom doing. I was going to ask, are you getting ready for Halloween? You have kind of a spooky lighting. I know it is kind of spooky in here. I don't know what's going on. I just have this one light, and then I have this this hard light right on my face. Um, you know, I, people ask me what I'm going to be for Halloween, and I'm like, can I just be 30 years old and like not buying a costume? You know, are you going to dress up? Are you doing it? No, I wasn't planning on dressing up. Right. But that's what um, I say every year, and then I always end up dressing up because there's some party at the last minute. Yeah, you'll be you an dress? asshole if you're not in a costume. You know? Yeah. What uh, What'd you dress up as last year? I feel like last year was the one year that there wasn't a party, right? Because that's was full, you're right. I didn't think full that. pandemic, but every year before that, there is something. Yeah, I yeah. dressed up as uh, a bat. <laughs> Just keeping it simple, huh? Just yeah. just bat, just like one of the top five spooky things. I love that. Well, last Maybe year. Maybe I'm overthinking it. That's yeah. I love the simplicity of that. What are, uh, what my, are some of your other costumes? Well, my, I'll tell you what, my favorite costume. What uh, my favorite costume when I was a young boy uh was I dressed up as the Bartman from The Simpsons, you know. Oh yeah, the Bartman. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. El El Barto. Yeah. Right. Isn't that like what he spray paints? Yeah, and yeah, the I had a plastic mask with uh bart simpson's face and uh it was real that's pretty good that's pretty good. A good get up that's a good one yeah What's i'm trying favorite? to remember ah, I, I i did uh trying to think i <laughs> one year i went as a minion and this was about <laughs> this was about six or seven years ago and the reason that it was so good i think was because i got utterly blackout and, and was dancing with these women at this party yeah and it was somebody captured it on video and it was the hardest to watch thing that i've ever seen oh it yeah just, it was just a dribbling minion on a dance floor sweating and uh it's hard it to was... listen to i can't imagine <laughs> it was awful it was it was <laughs> the highest and lowest moment of my life that's that's despicable it really was it was i was ashamed of myself i never saw those movies you know despicable what I, me despicable me too right the minions the minions uh i see what you did there it was despicable i i saw the minions i hate watched it because i yeah. thought that it was annoying and then unfortunately i found that it was quite a nice picture it was very clever and uh pretty well put together big yeah. minions fan over here well, I would hope so. You loved it so much you dressed up as one. <laughs> Big Minion said. I love what they're doing. They haven't put out one in a minute, though. I'm a little concerned. I don't know if everything's okay. I think the Minions, from what I've seen, they've kind of fallen out of grace. Really? Because they yeah. were, I don't know if you know this, but they conquered the world, Trent. I mean, they were, 
<laughs> they, they, were, they were everywhere for a while. They I think were, people got sick of them. You think so? I think so. I mean, yeah, there were there were more minions out in the world than there were like McDonald's signs. <laughs> you know, like it was like everywhere. There was a fire hydrant down the street from me painted as a minion. I used to have a photo. Oh, I've bank. seen those. Yeah. Yeah, I used to have a photo bank I was building of minions I would see in the wild. So I just take picture of minions, grocery stores, randomly signage anywhere. I had like I don't know. I had no plans of what I was going to do with it, but I collected like two hundred photos. And... You should make you should make a coffee table book. Ah, oh, that would have been perfect. Did what? You yeah, get rid that's... of them? You delete them? <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I don't know. There's nothing I can do with this. Ah, you're an idiot. You should have talked to me. I know. I know. But I mean, I guess you could just Google all of these pictures. <laughs> I don't think you need them. Well, I mean, you you're, you could have written some funny captions and stuff. Some nice puns. Uh, yeah, it could have been good. It was definitely a thing where I was running out of space, you know? And I was yeah. like, what? Something needs to go. And um, it was all your minion yeah. pictures. <laughs> yeah. You hate to see them go, but. Uh, they, love yeah, to watch they, him leave. Yeah, exactly. I deleted them one at a time. Just <laughs> licked, licked my lips. <laughs> it was every one of them. Now, I life. recently went to Times Square. You ever heard of it? I, I'm i familiar, yeah. Yeah. It was the first time I've been there since I moved here. My, my buddy Scott was in town, who you met. I did meet Scott. Yeah. He wanted to do the, all the tourist stuff. Yeah. What now, people tell me I spell, I say, how do you say tour? Tour. Tour? tour? Now, yeah. now I'm self-conscious about it. Is it tour? Tour? People tell I feel me like it's I'm tour. Like George W. Bush. Tour. <laughs> people <laughs> tell me it's tour, but I say tour. 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 I think I say tour. Yeah. I think, would you like to go on a tour of the house? Tour. Who says Tour. I don't know, but a crazy person. Somebody told me that recently, and now it's in my head. I'm now it's in my head. Yeah. Well, this is like an infectious disease here. I, I'm going to worry about this forever now. Well, so what is, how are you supposed to say it? Tour? That's what I've been told. Who are these assholes <laughs> that think they're in charge of pronounce, pronouncing words? I don't know. I don't like it. But anyway, I, we went down to Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't. I, we didn't see anybody dress up as minions. We saw a bunch of... Now, this I found was odd. Okay. We saw a bunch of Mickey and Minnie's. Mickey right. Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Yeah, they seem to be a staple in that area. Yeah, which people haven't talked about them in years. They haven't talked about them, but you know what it is? It's those, those goddamn executives at Disney. <laughs> Every time they see a minion out there, they go and club him, take his outfit <laughs> off, and yeah. shove him in a mini... Minnie Mouse costume. You yeah, they, you're right. They, 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 they rule that place with an iron fist. The dumpsters are filled with dead minions. <laughs> dead minion costumes. They're just a guy with an arsenal of mini Minnie Mouse costumes just waiting to <laughs> shove them onto some poor son of a bitch in Times Square. We also saw those. Have you seen those uh those like trans guys that dress up like transformers? Like it's not, where I thought, it's not where I thought you were going with this. With this, no. I it ended in formers. <laughs> Crazy. Well, I saw. That. I saw what happened. These guys who dress up as trans formers. Uh, I can't take the heat like Chappelle. Yeah, no, dude, you weren't built to take the heat. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's taking the heat but too well. Uh, I don't trans like the trans. No, I haven't seen Transformers recently. Yeah, they're like they the guy there was a guy dressed up like Bumblebee from the Transformers. He was like a giant. It was like a real oh, like, they're metal like big suit. as whoa. Yeah. yeah, wow. Do they have Optimus and didn't see Optimus? Just saw. Bumblebee. Do, they, do they have any? Do they have any Beast Wars from the? Oh, I would love. I would love that. You know what I'm talking about? I know. Yeah, I know Beast Wars. Yeah, dude, that was my shit when I was. Yeah, a that kid. was a great show. Uh, have you looked up any footage of it recently? Just no, to like look it. back, I have uh, utterly, utterly unwatchable. Maybe, maybe, maybe the worst CGI of all time. I did look up. The, you know, do you remember ever watching the Donkey Kong TV show? Oh, I, I've I think I've seen clips of it, but I didn't remember that being a thing when we were kids. 
Yeah. I don't remember the Donkey Kong show, but it's That's in the pretty same bad wheelhouse. CGI too. It's, it's right up there with that. Beast Wars, I think, was the first CGI TV show. Really? I think so. Like the first cartoon show. They were like, we're ready. They could have waited a few years, but they're like, we're ready. And then and it's it's god awful. It's just unbelievably bad. I'll have to check it out. But yeah. I remember really enjoying that show. Of course, we didn't know any better. It was a different Same. time back then. It was a different time. Yeah, I was on the edge of my seat every week. It was great. I was when boys could be boys. <laughs> and beasts could be beasts. Exactly. <laughs> and then they could transform. That's into right, into else. boys. Yeah. <laughs> Beast boys, baby. <laughs> There's no cheetors in Times Square. There's no <laughs> <rabbit>. <laughs> I didn't see any cheetors. <laughs> <laughs> what came what came first, you think? Uh Beast Wars or the Animorphs? Oh, similar time. I feel like God, I feel like Animorphs maybe I feel like those were just kind of already around, you know. Were those like early nineties or were those actually mid nineties? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I ask you. No, <laughs> you do ask me. <laughs> what I don't get with the Animorphs is how they also like the the graphic design is horrific to behold but we we we'd had graphic design figured out for a long time at that yeah. point like yeah. cgi and beast wars i get it like it's they're still figuring it out but like yeah how do you fuck up a cover of a book i mean you get one <laughs> shot there's like one picture the rest is words you can't get one fucking picture right it's not like it's all pictures well they you know they probably didn't try because you know what they say never judge a book by its cover <laughs> especially with animorphs yeah <laughs> the author of animorphs is like just if, if anyone judges my literature by the cover they're swine <laughs> <laughs> and i needn't their patronage we need to see a guy turning into a dolphin absolutely we need to see it oh i thought you were pulling up a picture of it oh no i wish <laughs> i don't have that <laughs> we, don't have, <laughs> we don't have that technology no we don't have that technology we're we're like yeah. the same level of technology that and the guy making the animorphs covers that <laughs> oh no this I is, did. The, be- oh, yeah, this is right. the beast my, wars I did, podcast. maybe i should keep my hands in the in the screen so you know i'm not doing anything <laughs> so you know you're not, you're not pulling anything fast. yeah <laughs> I've got another laptop here. I could just, it's my work laptop. I could pull up a picture of Animorphs and just hold it right here. That seems like a lot of effort, though. Yeah, it is for a little reward. Um, Zero reward. Yeah, but anyway, thanks for doing this, Joe. Absolutely. Now, you know what this is. I've explained it to you. But if this is your first time listening, if you're big fans of Joe, you want to tune into the podcast for the first time. Uh, this is an advice podcast. Now, if you need advice, you can email me at advice from Trent at gmail.com. That's advice from Trent. I really thought it was going to be gmail. advice. I thought it was just going to be like advice.com. <laughs> no, no, it's advice. It's from advice. Trent. Just the pause that you do, advice from Trent at gmail. gmail.com. <laughs> love it i love it you're cut out for this you're in the right business yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and say it oh, i appreciate that it means a lot yeah <laughs> i mean it with all my heart so are we gonna read the 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 first we're request to for it. we're getting to it okay i'm oh, sorry let me I'll, I'll give you some time to fire up email <laughs> well i gotta pull it up on my iphone 7 plus yeah okay are you is that a sponsor today or what are we doing we're trying we're trying i say it every week <laughs> i haven't heard anything from apple <laughs> It's probably because they've made five new phones since then. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, they're not taking the bait on the seven plus pitch. <laughs> I wonder why. Now I had I got an email um uh-huh. that said I, I need to uh get a new SIM card. My network is gonna be my 3G network is gonna be shut down. <laughs> I'm gonna lose <laughs> signal. <laughs> that is a sad email to get <laughs> they're just like time is has moved on uh yeah. society <laughs> has changed and you will be left behind unless you pay 900 dollars to stay with modernity <laughs> we are gonna fucking leave you in the yeah. past i have till january 1st <laughs> you're it's over yeah i can't believe apple gave you an ultimatum 
January 1st. So I'm up and they see this and they just send me a new phone. What are they, are they just, is there like a giant breaker? They just pull a switch and like the <laughs> network just like shuts down. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how they would do it. There's just some guy who's just going to fucking shut Trent down and everyone, all the other Trents in the world on their 3G network. <laughs> pull the plug. Yeah, they're going to harvest all, all servers for parts. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I may have to stop doing the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> So we're, we're going to make the most of it with this email. The subject line reads, the, the title is Honest Money. Right. <laughs> is it, is it, is it going to be a familiar story of a guy with a struggling podcast that needs to raise money for his network? <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. Uh, okay. Here it is. It, 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 the email reads, Dear Beloved Friend. <laughs> I hope this message finds you well. I'm a big fan of the podcast. I'm also an incredibly wealthy Nigerian prince. <laughs> I've been trying to give away half of my fortune for years now, but no one believes me. I send out many emails and letters, but never hear back. Apparently, there are a lot of scams that sound similar, similar to what I'm trying to do. <laughs> but I really just want to give away that's my money. I have too much to know well, what to do with it. Do you have any tips on how to get people to believe me? Please help me give away my fortunes. By the way, what's your mother's maiden name? Nice. Signed. I see is it. And then he says, thank you very much. Signed Lush and Lagos. Now, I believe okay. Lagos is a city in Nigeria. Right. And then Lush, is that just, what, what, what is that? Well, Lush, like rich with money, is Lush. Mm. <clears throat> I'm right, Trent. I'm right there with you. Laugh. <laughs> well, it seems like this guy has, you know, encountered a unique problem where he's sincerely trying to, to do this thing that a lot of other people have ruined for him. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and he's also, you know, very interested in your ancestry. Obviously, <laughs> I was trying to put together your ancestral family tree. Well, yeah, he's clearly a fan of the podcast. He wants to know more about me. <laughs> he's a very big fan of the podcast. And he's clearly a beloved friend of yours. So, I mean, <laughs> yes. my question is, my question is, do you already know this guy? Do you guys go back a long way? Well, he didn't sign his name. Uh, so I don't, I can't, I don't know. If, I don't know if I know this guy, but I don't know anybody <laughs> that I, I don't think I know anybody from Nigeria, mm. but I might. You might. <clears throat> I'm not sure you I know might. any royalty. Did you email him back or are you, that's what we're doing. We're going to, we're, we're I will send him the link to this podcast. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Cause that's why I wrote in really is to, <laughs> is for the podcast. Um, yeah. I mean, I would say, you know, um, I mean, you need, let's be honest, you need money to get a new phone. That's true. That's get true. On the new network because life's going to pass you by if you don't get a new phone. Yeah. And so if it's as simple as he's looking for somebody to pass on his fortunes to. You could just send it to me. You could just send it to you. But the real question is, do you remember your mother's maiden name? I do remember my mother's maiden name. What do we got? Maiden name Fleener. Hold on one second. <laughs> More time. Fleener. F L E E. N -E -R. Fleener. What is yeah. that? What's that country of, of origin? Oh, that, geez. Uh... <laughs> You're terrified this is going to come up, huh? Fleener. I, Fleener. Now, I've, I took the uh, ancestry. My aunt one time for Christmas got everyone in the family, the ancestry DNA. Um... Why would she not just get it for like one person <laughs> instead of buying it for like everybody? In the, don't they all have the same DNA? Well, for the most part, yeah, but my, my uh, but dad's... But you know who your aunts are and everything, so we all share the same... You know well, I mean? yeah, like, but you get your dad's side and your mom's side. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that you guys, yeah, you bring in some other families into it. Yeah, well, yeah. We're not all incestuous. We're not all 100% like, like related to great-grandma. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. But... 
so we all did that. You got to spit. I don't, I don't know if you've ever Wait, done this, but you got to spit no, in I have. Tube. I've actually wanted to do it. Did you do a uh, genealogy or ancestry? Which it's one did you? Ancestry. And so that com. wants to try to figure out who your ancestors were, not like what your DNA is made of, right? Because one no, of like 23 and me is like um, part ocean, Pacific ocean. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Ocean, oceanic. I just blurred out of racial slur. Uh, oceanic and part French or whatever. But so this one's like, I'm related to like Frank Mabry. It was well, you know, it's both. It's both. Oh, they got it all. Yeah. So yeah, you, you uh, spit in this tube <laughs> and then you mail it off to these people somewhere. And I'm sure they harvest your DNA and then <laughs> absolutely <laughs> they make they, a clone. Do they of you even mail you back? Are they just like, thanks for the spit, you fucking loser? <laughs> they email you and then they go, We got this, we got this spit, and we don't know what to do with it. They ask for advice. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, isn't but they it crazy even... that we're paying people to give our DNA to them? You yeah, know what I mean, is, like we're paying like $75, $80 to be like, here's yeah all my genetic information yeah if i hadn't gotten it for as a christmas gift in my stocking i, <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. but i did it so they spit you they test it you know and then they email you your results uh-huh. and i the joe i tell you i've looked at this multiple times uh-huh. because people always <laughs> ask me oh what's your background maybe that's an interesting last name and then I never remember any any of my results. <laughs> oh, no, you don't have any of them? Nothing? No, I don't. I thought, not you, a, I thought you were going to say 100% black. You'd never <laughs> believe it. <laughs> but that's no, what I, I do. The only thing I remember is like I'm, I'm 1% one, 1 Nova Scotian. The other stuff I don't remember. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> like native to no, like Native American, like native to Nova Scotia. Where is Nova Scotia? That's in like Canada, right? I think it's in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Or does that just mean that like, yeah, there's some colonists that lived in Nova Scotia for a while, <laughs> and you're related to them. Yeah, I don't know, but right. uh, I wish I could tell you more. It sounds like this this gift was wasted on you, but not <laughs> on the federal government. No, no. <laughs> yeah. it, it's all part of their plan. They make it seem interesting, and then they send you the results, and you're like, oh, right. that's they cool. Send you a replacement clone. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly different political beliefs, <laughs> spending practices. Yeah, it's all. But um, go ahead. Yeah, I, I would recommend doing it. <laughs> i want to do it actually how far back did it go that's my question did it go back to like a thousand years ago well you could you could trace your uh your like family Lineage. history back yeah right. I, that that's interesting that's more yeah interesting i think than that's the, kind of the dna so you well, can so map that out but you gotta pay more you gotta pay a little pay more. more what the hell are you yeah. paying for so you gotta the the first one's the dna yeah and that just tells you if you're fucking nova scotia <laughs> or if you had some, some ancestors that lived in nova scotia for a couple of generations yeah and then if you pay more you can find out their names you can find out like yeah you Doug get mabry was yeah a, was a farmer <laughs> dude it would be so underwhelming to do this because i come from a long line of farmers I th- like my dad was a, like a bit of a farmer my grandpa grew up on a farm in the great Depression. my dad's a farmer yeah, and it goes all the way back to, I'm sure, the dawn of time. Like, I don't think that, you know, if your great-grandfather was a farmer, I don't think that his dad was, like, a scientist or a lawyer. You know what I mean? I think it just goes keeps going back farmers. Yeah, until... it is a family. Yeah, it's a family tradition that I wanted no part of. Same. I think I broke it after maybe maybe 12,000 years. I think I was <laughs> the first generation that stepped away from the farming Uh now did you, you saw your your dad had a nice tractor some tractors uh he had he had some tractors he had a small operation in kansas and they grew like flowers and tomatoes and, and oh. stuff flowers. a few a few acres you know he did some like remodeling work in houses but then we had this whole f- farm operation in the summer yeah they, everybody every farmer has a side job 
<laughs> yeah, it's hard to go full time farming, you know. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's it a, is nowadays, right? Yeah, but back then, back in the day, everyone was a farmer. It was like half of, or like you know, like ninety percent of people were like cooking, farming their own shit, right? Yeah. Oh, well, you had your hunters, you had your gatherers. No, this is after that. <laughs> they hunted again, and then they turned into farmers. Because it's hunters and gatherers for like 200,000 years. And then one day we got tired of walking. So we're like, let's just plant, let's just plant corn. Let's gather everything. Let's just give up. And over here. Let's gather it over here and then just keep putting it in the same spot. Did you ever go hunting? I never went. My brother went with my dad once. I know I wanted to. I think it sounds fun. I would love to go hunting. Yeah. Did, did nah. you ever go? Nah, I never, I didn't think it sounded fun. But I'm I didn't big when I was a kid, but now I think it sounds fun. Yeah, yeah. Taking the life of a <laughs> <laughs> yeah of an animal, yeah, like a deer, you know, <laughs> just fucking blow its brains out. That'd be sick. <laughs> be an adrenaline rush. <laughs> well, when you awesome. put it like that, it does. Sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to like hunt like you know fucking endangered species and lions, like fucking... like Donald Trump Jr., your hero. Yeah, it was a poster of him back here, actually. Uh, yeah, did he did he shoot an endangered species? Obviously, right? Like, of course. Yeah, yeah, he did. It was yeah. I think there's like a picture of him with, with uh, Eric. There's like David. anything like politically wrong you could think of. Those guys somehow managed. To. <laughs> it's like yeah, I, mean, it I never even would have thought of that. Like, they just like, gotta okay. appreciate their commitment. I know. <laughs> I'm like. Of just anything that's remotely bad, they found a way to some member of the family found a way to whether it was nepotism, killing the last white tiger on earth, or fucking pissing all over prostitutes. Who knows? Yeah. They found a way to. Do they're it probably right. they're probably sending scam emails to people trying to pretending to be Nigerian princes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they got a lot of legal funds to pay to off, suckers. So. Yeah, to now, suckers. Unlike, unlike this guy who legit wants to give away his money. Now, people don't believe him. Now, if you were telling the truth and people didn't believe you, how would you convince them that you were not a dirty liar? A dirty, filthy liar. Hmm. You know what? You know what? This is... uh... <laughs> it's so i love the idea of somebody genuinely struggling to figure out a way to give away money it's like the yeah. easiest thing possible to do getting rid of money is the easiest thing of all time well it's not as well that that nigeria has weird bank laws that you can't get into your account unless somebody else sends you money first <laughs> 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 yeah i forgot that they have that that system where it yeah. costs like fifteen hundred dollars to unlock your bank account to pull yeah. your money out yeah, yeah. those fifteen hundred dollar bank locks ah yeah well did he did he uh mention you know speaking of ancestry um does did he mention any sort of like noble bloodlines that he may possess because um well he did say he was a nigerian prince okay <laughs> he, he is a prince yeah this is this place seems to be it's riddled with princes to have bad banking systems <laughs> you think I, you think he's the prince he'd be able to do something about it <laughs> yeah, at least he, at least talk to his dad but no but he can't yeah because his dad that's the reason he doesn't want him in that account and that's why you're right fifteen hundred dollar lock you're right you're right <laughs> So he's like, you got to go be a man of the world, raise $1,500 on your own, and then you can come back to remove the lock on the account. And then and you become access king. your fortune. <laughs> and then you become king. And then I'll suck your cock, personally. <laughs> <laughs> That's the system over there. And I don't understand it. But Well, you know, it's their culture. Who are we to judge? <laughs> I don't know. But it's, it's getting close to feeling problematic. But... <laughs> I think that this guy should maybe um, maybe pull like a coming to America thing and just leave home and yeah. then, you know. Um, Come to the Big Apple. Yeah, although I guess he kind of wants some of that money to kind of expensive to move to New York, as you well know. Well, he said he said he wants to, he wants to share half. Of how much money? Is it only $3,000? <laughs> did he need three grand I, he, he didn't he didn't say 
Oh, I'm just making up numbers now. Okay. (laughs) That would be amazing if you got an email. It's like, I have $700, (laughs) but I can't, I can't access it. (laughs) No, he didn't say how much. Uh, he didn't give an exact number amount, but he said he wants to give away half of his fortune because he has so much money he doesn't know what to, he doesn't know what to do with it. So this scam, there's a real version of this scam that's going around to comics in New York. Did you hear about this? Oh yeah, I, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, the guy who was like, uh, I don't even know what it was. It was like a gig. Yeah, they they gig. he would DM comics and say uh, his wife was having a birthday party. Right. And if they could make a video, mm-hmm. now these are no no name comics that he's talking to. <laughs> yeah. they, if if he could, they could make a video roasting his wife, right? And he would pay them three hundred dollars. Was it three hundred or three thousand? I think it was three. I think it was three hundred. But then he would like send them a a check for three thousand. Three thousand. That's what it was. And then. They would then he would ask the comic to, <laughs> to send him back the difference. <laughs> so like twenty seven hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and then they would send him twenty seven hundred dollars, <laughs> and then the check would bounce. Yeah, which is crazy. <laughs> I feel really bad for the people that that yeah. happened to. Yeah. But what a funny if you're like a, a like a. a predator in that sense to come up like you know who's especially vulnerable <laughs> like gigging comics in new yeah. york who are just yeah now, I, tell them birthday I was yeah i felt bad that i didn't get one same yeah that's how i know that i'm no one still. yeah it, truly yeah. no one yeah <laughs> you know what i mean because i saw yeah. some people that were getting i was like wow oh. I'm well, yeah, so, so someone made a big post about it. And yeah. then there was a bunch of comics that like I kind of know that were like posting stuff like, oh, yeah, I got that, too. And it did start yeah. to feel like <laughs> I'm just like, oh, how did they get that? You know, <laughs> it's not like not, not getting picked for dodgeball. I know. Or like, yeah, you got a buddy who gets into a cool festival you put in for and you're like, what the fuck is going yeah. on? <laughs> But at least we didn't lose out on twenty seven hundred dollars. <laughs> oh man, the the comedian bandit is still at large. <laughs> still at large, and his and his wife's birthday is imminent. It's it's approaching rapidly. I would like to see all the videos that they made though, just shitty rose jokes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the question. Like, did they make the video as well? Yeah, that would be this guy would be the devil if he made (laughs) he got the money and people sent him those videos. That would be so cruel to just yeah to add insult to injury and just humiliate everyone by just having this collection of videos (laughs) they lost twenty seven hundred dollars (laughs) on. Good, like we all know, Karen loves to bake. But just, she's also a whore yeah know. just 30 30 videos of comics calling this guy's fake wife a cunt <laughs> and then it's 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 it really his wife and then he just watches those videos and smiles as he and yeah them. they're rolling around in all their dough uh, yeah wow what a sick fuck part of me kind of admires this guy i hate to admit it yeah now yeah when you when we really think about it now that we're breaking it down, it's it's He's the most cool br- guy. brilliant thing I've ever heard. It's amazing. <laughs> He's a genius. Is he a comic? That's what I want to know. Do you oh. think it's a comic? Wow. If it, if it is, he's the funniest comic of all time. I, <laughs> I know. Yeah, you should win the Mark Twain Award. Take it away from Dave Chappelle for all the terrible things he said and give it to this guy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, is it a comic though? Because does it maybe take somebody on the inside to like have the insight to like, oh, I know that, that there's people that will think this is legit and will, you know, that I can yeah. pull this one over on. It's, it's, uh, it certainly takes a mastermind. <laughs> Why do I feel like it's you all this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It well, it's not me, how, but the guy that's doing been, it is. How have you smart. been floating in New York City without much of a job? <laughs> For months now, paying no, rent, no, living no, in Manhattan. It's not me. It's not me. But the guy doing it, 
pretty cool. Pretty cool. Why guy. do you have a spy camera that's not even a camera? <laughs> well, no, this is to store my money. But uh, exactly, yeah, it fits about twenty seven hundred bucks. There's a tw- there's twenty seven different compartments in yeah. there. And uh, <laughs> God, no, I swear it's not me. But the guy doing it, pretty smart. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty smart. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, pretty and funny. Nice, nice hair, nice hair. Funny and should be booked more. I'll yeah. say it. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Wow. But I, this guy wants to get rid of his money. People don't believe him. I would now, I don't know if he's considered this, but maybe if he's desperate enough to give away his money, maybe he should try, maybe he should think about maybe doing a squid game. Mm. Starting yeah. a squid game. Starting a squid game of his own. Um, you did not tell me that watching Squid Game was going to be necessary prep for this, and I haven't yet. <laughs> so I honestly, I'm the only one in the country who has no idea what the fuck is going on. With you this don't stuff. know. Well, explain. Tell me what you think Squid Game is I'll about. Tell you, just based off the random pictures and stuff, yeah. I think it's some sort of like a jail si- system where these guys go, and then they have some there's some sort of like hunger games element to it Mm -hmm. but with squids and they (laughs) have they have to fight like squids or something or maybe there's no squids maybe that's just the name of it Mm -hmm. and there's like a team called squid and and there but there's definitely guys that are in some sort of prison situation and some sort of hunger games situation. and it's in korea right yeah it's in korea you got that right i think i nailed it right like what am i missing there's yeah it's yeah it's about it that's about it yeah now they got a they're degenerate gamblers and they're all okay. rounded up they're all rounded up it is kind of like a hunger games thing right and then they've got to play these games and if they lose these games they they are killed so it's like saw they're like a the little old. bit a little bit like saw right and then but every time the a person gets killed they add more money more won. <laughs> <laughs> more wine <laughs> into the into the into the bank how much one have you stolen from korean comedians that's what i want to know how much fucking wine do you have shoved in that camera over <laughs> i tell you but i don't really understand the conversion right <laughs> okay so they got they gotta play games also, everyone acts like this is, a, you know, they do this thing like Saw and then Squid Games and Hunger Games. They're like, oh, what a sinister idea, you know? Before you execute people, they're going to have them play games. Yeah. But in real life, they just execute them and you don't even get to play a game. <laughs> that seems way worse. You know what I mean? You're right. At least they just they... immediately like fucking kill people and torture them in real life. Yeah. You're not sitting on the electric chair that you don't get to ask for a, a Game Boy. <laughs> yeah they're not playing a fucking round of sorry <laughs> like if you win you will go to the next level there's no next level you're just human yeah. trafficked and you're fucked forever <laughs> that's what you're it right. is you're in the right. real we world should... yeah you're just fucked we should we should let people that have the death penalty play a game first yeah oh yeah game and there's like a chance they could get out of it yeah why don't they do something like this and televise it because obviously everyone people want to see it, it. People want to see it. They're dying to see this stuff. And do you think that the person, that, I mean, otherwise they're just going to die, right? So now there's a chance they don't. So how exactly. is it worse? How is it exploitative? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I get that it literally reason. is, but <laughs> besides the fact that it just is. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I would watch it. Let me, we should pitch it. I would watch it too. If, yeah, all right. Would you, if they were just like, um, if tomorrow they were like, we're going to televise a guy getting electrocuted in the electric chair. <laughs> Period. <laughs> would, <laughs> would you turn it on? Would you watch it? Just a guy getting electrocuted. They're like, there's, you know, there's like, this guy's got the death penalty. One mm-hmm. of those states where it still exists, but like, we are going to put it, it's going to be on like, you know, it's going to be on. It's going to be on N- NBC. It's, it's going to be on NBC. <laughs> so well i'd watch it if they let him play a game first what if they didn't what if, would you just watch a guy just get zapped in a chair i guess nah. you could already youtube that yeah. you could i never i never liked all that like, yeah. yeah right there was a guy there was a video when i was uh in high school where, right. where a guy got his head beaten with a hammer oh, was, was yeah around. i go i'm not 
don't yes. know. Yes. Yeah. There was one where a guy got his head chopped off. Yeah. I remember that one around too. And yeah, your buddies would just sit around and like fire that that <laughs> thing up. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Passing around a fucking bag of Skittles or something. And the internet was slow too. So it would take seven hours to load. You'd just be sitting right. around. That would be like that'd be like the event for the evening. <laughs> yeah. Just watching the beheading, passing around some sour patch kids. <laughs> yeah, you 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 gotta think that wasn't good for the general. Uh, oh, moral. are those still out? I mean, they're obviously still out there, right? All yeah. those they really really you know, went around for a while. There was that internet sure got bad. <laughs> yeah, for a while. Now it's great. <laughs> now I'm glad they, they cleaned it up a little yeah. bit. Everything's a okay. Yeah, now it's just uh, now it's just 16 year olds uh, almost naked on TikTok dancing <laughs> around, and it's wholesome. Yeah. You know? Yeah, everything's good. Yeah. I got no complaints. <laughs> uh, <Ooh. laughs> Sorry, I just got to say, it is weird downloading TikTok because you're like, I'm going to try to put my dumb skits on there and yeah. get followers and try to build a, some shitty following. The pipe dreams of a complete loser. And you're doing this thing and you're going to mics. And then a part of it, you just have to scroll through like 15-year-old girls like like naked and stuff. Why does that have to be part of it? Why can't I just like edit that out of my stream? <laughs> this is just in everybody's stream. I Yeah, uh, I, know, I don't have a TikTok. But you recently well, went viral on TikTok. I had one vid that that went off, but yeah, if you want to pursue your dreams, you have to you have to scroll past underage girls dancing around. That's part. Apparently, that's part of it. Well, that's the price we pay. <laughs> <laughs> what a price it is! Yeah. So I, you say just you say just maybe just give me the money or you. I it say can't be that ice. hard. This guy's it overthinking it. Right. Don't quit. Right, right. Maybe do it. Maybe do it. Coming to America. Come to a city, a populated city. Get a job at uh, uh, McDowell. <laughs> McDowell's. Yeah, that seems to be the opposite. Well, his problems that his problems that he can't find anyone to take his money because there's too many scams. This seems different than the normal scam, right? Because Normally they're like, I, my bank's locked up <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I need you to send me some money to get the funds out. But yeah. this guy's saying like, I have the money. Yeah. It's just that no one believes me because Everyone, of all these, scams. all these other scams. Right. So you just need to believe him and do anything he says to get the money. Absolutely. Follow any of the steps. Yeah. yeah. Starting with your mother's maiden name. So really this is advice for the listeners to reach out to this guy and do anything he says. Yeah. And th- then you'll get some nice, uh, I don't know the, what, what the money the currency is referred to in nigeria i'm not, was and this, I'm not gonna wager out? a guess <laughs> you're not gonna wager yet no. i'm gonna wager again i'm gonna maybe like a ruble there might be like a ruble oh, right there. yeah that's yeah that's could a good or it could be like a i feel like a lot of places have dollars and a lot of places have dinars you know what i'm talking about <laughs> oh no. it's like d-i-n-e-r-s a lot of places got they got dinners and dollars out there. You got diners. I never heard of that. I never heard of you don't, that. You've never heard of diners? I, well, I know diners, yeah. <laughs> I think they're dinars. I, mean, I like to go to a diner and order a nice key lime pie. Oh, you and me both, brother. Don't even get me started about a key lime. But uh, yeah, I don't so, know about Ethiopia. <laughs> yeah. I, go ahead. <laughs> you take it away. So all my listeners, reach out to this guy. Right. Try to get this guy's money now. If he's if he can't, he's desperate to get rid of his money. He's desperate. So I would say maybe, maybe try to uh, try to start a squid game. I know Joe doesn't know what that is, uh, but try to find a guy that's got the death penalty. Maybe mm. maybe talk to the warden. Yeah, and try to set up a thing where this if this one guy, if he right. wins, uh, <laughs> if he wins, uh, what's a good game to play? Yahtzee. If he people. wins, uh, I think you know if, he's, if it's a death penalty, you should have to play the board game Life, right? And you oh, there that. you go, there you go. If you lose life, you're gonna die. Right now right? we're so cooking, that, right? baby. Now we've got it. <laughs> so find this: the Nigerian prince should find a guy in a, in prison that has the death penalty. Reach out to the warden. Try to set up a thing. Hey, if this guy wins the game of life, <laughs> reach out to the warden. Just find, you know. Yeah, grab the warden's email address off the off the jail website. Dial him up. 
Maybe do a follow up if he doesn't reply to the reach out. Go yeah. ahead and do a circle back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cold call him. You call him. Yeah. Maybe I think it would be a good look to provide your own board game. So maybe go buy Life. Yeah. At Target and like at least have everything sort of ready to go. Yeah. So this, you don't want the place. warden to do any work. You don't want you to just, have the warden to go to Target. He just needs life. to put his John Hancock on it. Oh boy, does he! <laughs> <laughs> and then if this guy wins the game of life, he gets half of this Nigerian prince's money. Oh, now. I thought you were gonna say he gets he gets half of the death penalty. <laughs> you know, he gets half the chair. <laughs> he gets his time yeah. cut in half. <laughs> no, he gets half of the money. Now, if he loses, he loses his life. I love it. I love it. And then you got to find another money. guy to try and. Or a lady could be a lady, but I feel like they don't get the death penalty a lot. And you know what? I feel like some of these death penalty states, like Texas, they would love this. They would. They love would it. love it. Yeah, make it like a rodeo themed event that they have. But yeah, to put it on during the halftime of the Longhorns oh, game. Oh yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. Longhorns, Cowboys, yeah. America's team, the Christmas Day game. You know, Thanksgiving. <laughs> have a fucking guy playing for his life. What are we, Macy's Day Parade's boring. I have a guy trying to, on the electric chair, rolling the dice and playing Yahtzee and trying to save himself. That's what I want to stuff it. my face to do. So That's I think movie. we solved it. I think we solved it. I think we solved it. Yeah. Also, just reach out to princes in Nigeria. You yeah. know what it's like being, there's so many of them and being a prince elsewhere really means something, but they're almost every citizen it's every every citizen is a friend and they all have banking issues so they're all depressed and reach yeah, out to these guys yeah we need to be yeah. more trusting we need to start initiating the conversations with them not waiting for them absolutely yeah you know why because silence is violence yeah <laughs> so exactly there, right there you go there you go i hope that helps right. uh, it's anything... technically the most violent form of violence go ahead <laughs> anything you want to plug uh I mean, no, not really. Uh, I got, you got, I got your nothing. Twitter, Instagram. Oh yeah, okay. I didn't know. What you, I, I I thought we were telling your listeners in like Indiana to come <laughs> see my my show next weekend. Uh, yeah, you got a yeah. show. Yeah, I got shows. Twenty fourth. That's the show I'm running. Uh, hit me up on the old Twitter. Uh, it's at Joe Nunnick. So it's my name. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Instagram's Nunnagram. Yeah, he's, he's a good he's a good follow. Man. Joe's a good it's a good follow. follow. It's a good follow. Think about and, it. Yeah, and you can follow me on Twitter at Trent Mabry and on into Instagram Trent underscore Mabry. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you can like the podcast, subscribe, rate, review, all that shit. That's it. That's the show. As always, this is Trent Mabry signing off. Uh, bye bye. Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Mercy. And maybe I seem a bit confused. Yeah, maybe. But I got you, pig. <laughs> but I don't know what to do with those tossed salads and scrambled eggs. They're calling again. Scrambled eggs all over my face. What is a boy to do? Mabry has left the building.